All right, so what we have here is two Sketty squashes. Now these are, they're a pain in the butt to cut. So I have a special knife just for this. Now we want to pull off the labels, make sure there's no other label on there. Now you can cut them into rings, and that's fine. I like to cut them long way, because I'm putting them on the vortex. Now I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to scrape this part out, this, this inside fleshy piece. So just like that we got these cleaned out. We're ready to hit it with a little bit of olive oil. I just use a spray because I just want to spray down just to give it a little bit so my seasonings have a place to stick. What kind of season am I using? I'm using um, Uncle Steve's Lucky Shake. Um, I really like this one. It's an all-purpose. It's got thicker granules, which is what I like about it. You can see that. And, I mean, you can use just a salt, pepper, garlic, a Cajun. It works really well for this. But I'm, I'm thinking about my end product, and I want to go into sketty of meatballs kind of thing. So I just want, like, a basic all-purpose something that's gonna lend well and not conflict and we're up to temp so uh, let's get these bad boys on Alright, so I also have a chunk of maple wood that I'm going to lay right here. Why maple? A little bit of sweetness and it was uh, what I could grab off the shelf really quick. Let's put them to bed. Alright, it's been about 36 minutes. So uh, let's take a look at these. Now, I know they're not done, but what I want to do now is add the meatballs got some just some original meatballs these are these are frozen just kind of fit them in now we are going to add our sauce Okay, so now we got the meatballs added, we're going to add some sauce. And how am I going to do that? I'll take these little tater pans, is what we call them, these little itty bitty ones. I'll set them like so. I'm just going to take a regular jarred sauce. Now there's two of us, me and Mama. So, just fill it up about halfway. So I ran a little long, it's an hour and 13 minutes. So let's take a look at this. Been holding steady about, right about there, about that 375. Oh my goodness. Look at the color on the meatballs. Uh, let's, let's get the old chef's temp in here. And let's just take a look at one. 190. Now those were already cooked. You see we're all heated up here and uh, yeah that's just flaking apart so these are all done so let's get this pulled off and uh
Let's take it in and let it rest, and then we'll pull the, uh, we'll scrape out all the sketty squash. We'll be ready to go. So, pretty simple. Take this. Oh, smells good. And just scrape it down. Scrape the insides. Just like so. What you want to do is get all the meat out of this. That's all this squash. Just scrape it out. Now I have saved the shell and used it as a serving vessel, but I'm not today. All right, so let's build this plate. Take some of our smoked skeddy squash. See how it's nice and ribbony? Makes it look like noodles. That's why they call it skeddy squash. All right. Nice good help in there. Okay. Now comes our meatballs, our smoked meatballs. I'm an even number kind of guy, so I'm going to go six. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's take some of our smoked sauce. And just drizzle right over top. Here we go. And let's go with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Uh, just as a garnish. All right, so let's just give this a little taste. Boy, she looks good. Mmm. That maple smoke actually gives it a lot of, a lot of depth, man. Because you get the smoke all throughout the, the sauce and the, the skeddy squash. Mm mm mm. Yeah. Mmm. Smoked meatball. Mmm. Just a quick little tip. Uh, so I only used about half this jar of sauce. So what I want to do is to preserve it to make sure that it's good when the next time I go to use it. Is I'm going to put it in one of these silicone uh, molds and then freeze it. See, I got one from the other day. Uh, I had a jar and I made uh, pizza burgers with. And then we'll just, I don't want to fill it all the way up. I want about halfway to start. And there you go. So now I'll put this in the freezer and then in a couple days I'll come out and I'll pop these out and put them in a Ziploc bag and then we'll have pizza sauce whenever I need it.